So I'm with Diane Mitchell from Paisley and Kitchen's been in I think a few months now Diane, is that right? That's right, yeah. So just going to do a wee quick interview and just ask you some questions about how your experience went. Okay. So can you tell us a wee bit about how you kind of first found out about My Beautiful Kitchen and Bathroom? Um, I happened to come across it on Facebook when I was looking for some quotes for kitchens and went along to the showroom. Uh, I was very impressed with the quality of the kitchen and thought it would be far too expensive. Mm -hmm. um, but got a quote uh, and I got quotes from a couple of other uh, places as well and actually it wasn't that much of a difference uh, and for the difference in quality I think that's what swayed me to go with my beautiful kitchen because nothing else looked uh, as, as good. <laughs> and okay and did you think that was quite noticeable then um, from a, a kind of customer? It's easy for us to talk about quality and how good the units are but from just somebody walking in and just looking at the kitchen and just kind of you, you could actually notice quite a visible difference in the quality. Yes I did. Um, I noticed a difference and then I went into a couple of other kitchen showrooms after and I, I noticed the difference after seeing yours first and then going to, to theirs. Uh, there, was, there was definitely a difference in quality. Brilliant and that's good news. And when you came into the showroom, um, was it Mark, I think, or designer that was working with you? Yes, it was Mark. Uh -huh. And can you talk a wee bit about that process, how that worked? Did you have an idea at that point then, because you'd been to a couple of places about a design, or did Mark come up with some ideas, or how did that no, all kind of transpire? Well, I had a few ideas of what I definitely wanted, but Mark put it all together. Um, it was all very relaxed, and he had lots of ideas and suggestions. Um, and see, it was all very relaxed, there was no hard sell, which I had found in the other places I've gone to, there was more of a hard sell, uh, but there was absolutely no hard sell and gave me time to think about it and I came back to him after, uh, after a couple of weeks uh, of thinking about it and he, he had lots of great ideas and I was really pleased how he, you know, had the things he suggested to me. So. Good. And you've obviously had a few months now to kind of test drive the kitchen, so to yes. speak. How's everything been working out for you? Everything's been fine. I've been I've been delighted with it. It's the best thing I've ever done, and um, really, really, really pleased with it. And I think because they did the flooring as well and the lights and everything got done at the one time, so it was like the full package. Uh, so once the kitchen was fitted, that was it. I was ready to go, and I've really enjoyed using it. I probably live in the kitchen more than the other parts of the house. That's where the parties are, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. Good stuff. And how about the actual installation then? I think you mentioned you were away on holiday, but it was it was Douglas yes. that we put you in touch with, obviously, for the installation. That's right. How, how did you find uh, Dougie, as we very, call him? Very, very accommodating, um, a really good worker, and uh, very much, I noticed in the detail, uh, the, the, you know, everything was done to perfection, I would say. Um, very, very good. I would recommend him to anybody. Uh, very pleased with the overall process. And about the quality of work, would you? Yeah, quality of work was spot on. I say it was like it was perfect. You know, there were no wee kind of bits that weren't finished and anything. It was. And when the job was completed for you, did you have any reason to kind of call Dougie back out, or was there anything at all? Any niggles or? I think there was a couple of wee niggles with the the. Uh, skirting, that was all. The skirting hadn't been fitted at one part, point, uh, so he came along, got a bit of skirting, did that for me. Right. Um, and, and did you get any resistance like, there, or? No, none at all. He, he couldn't. He was really happy to come out um, when it suited me, and it was great. You know? And I think that's the thing is that we're never really trying to be the fastest. You don't get the job no. done for, you, for the fastest. The boys are never. It's always about. For us, aftercare is equally as important as yes. obviously, you know, getting new business in and, and people coming and buying kitchens from us is great. Yes. But you can lose your reputation very quickly from the aftercare. That's and obviously right. contacting Dougie and Dougie coming out for you right away, it's exactly, you know, it, we always believe in looking after our customers and hopefully that leads to new customers recommending us to other customers yes. and uh -huh. things like that. So it's all good and that's good to hear. And if anybody was looking for a new kitchen or a new bathroom, what would you say to them about your experience with us? And I would highly recommend it. Um, I would definitely have a look at the showroom and get a quote 
and I think think they'd be surprised at the the price. Uh, you know, what I mean for the quality of what you're getting, it's not that much different to you know one of the cheap kitchens. Good value for money good, is what we like to say. Very good value for money. Yes. We're never trying to be the cheapest. <laughs> Um, and we're not going to be the dearest either. No. What we like to say is we're somewhere in the middle, but yeah. what we deliver is good value for money and, and hopefully yes. a good experience for the customer. Yeah. That's it. Thanks very yeah. much for your time. Cheers. No problem.